So in this video, I'm going to show you how to put together a little cube light. Now this is a nice and simple DIY project. You don't even need a soldering iron if you don't have one. It's preferable if you do, but if you don't, you really can get away with doing this project with no soldering iron and very minimal parts. It's very low cost. It's a handy little cube light. So good, in fact, to drop in your bag, I'm actually using it in this video as the key light that you can see right here, right now. So, what do you need to put together this little light? So all you really need is three nine volt batteries, an MR16 globe. Now this particular one, as you can see on the screen, I found in a pack of four at my local Bunnings store. They are rated at 12 volts like most MR16 globes, but these ones are very happy running all the way down to six volts and you get constant brightness at high CRI. I think they're rated about an 85 CRI, so the color rendering index is pretty good. They put out 500 lumens. They are happy at six volts or 12 volts. In this case, we're using three nine volts in parallel, giving us a nine volt supply. The reason we're using three nine volts is because one nine volt peaks out at around about 500 milliamps, and that's a good one. Most of them somewhere around 350. At nine volts, this one MR16 globe draws 900 milliamps. So three of them tied together in parallel gives us our nine volt supply at about 900 milliamps, probably around about an amp. So it is more than enough to run this light right down to its six volt cutoff. So the globe itself will start to flicker and cut off around six volts. It won't run under six volts. And by the time you pull your nine volt batteries down to six volts, they're pretty much dead anyway. So it's a lovely little match. So all you need for this project is three nine volt batteries, three nine, nine volt battery snaps. The firm type, not the soft type, seem to be a little bit better. The MR16 globes, link to the globes in the video description. Any switch will actually do. I just happened to use this round one because I had one. And some sort of housing, whether it's made out of plastic, whether it's made out of cardboard, or whether it's 3D printed like I've done with mine. And again, link to the STL file in the video description and over on my website. So the setup for this, really simple. Take your three nine volt battery snaps and connect all of the red leads and all of the black leads so that you have one red and one black all of the three nine volt battery snaps connected together. Connect one side of that to the pigtail. I am using a pigtail, but ultimately you don't even need to use the pigtail on the back of the MR16. You can just wire it straight to the globe or put some sort of clip terminal, some sort of automotive terminal on there if you want to be able to remove it from the globe. So the red wire or the red connection from the three battery snaps goes to one of the pins on the back of the MR16 or the MR16's pigtail. The other side of the MR16's pigtail goes to one part of the switch and the negative from the nine volt battery snaps goes to the middle terminal of the switch. Depending on your switch, you might have to, it might only be two terminals uh, or you might have to just figure out which ones are relevant to the on off position of your switch. Some switches are a bit different. Ultimately, that's it. That's the entire wiring process. That is the entire configuration. Drop your little MR16 globe in your housing. I've got a lid on mine, slide the lid closed, connect the three nine volt batteries, turn the light on, you're in business. A nice tough little cube light for any sort of lighting situation. As I said, I'm using this as a key light and without it, it's quite significantly darker. Uh, I'll give you a quick look at that now. So that's the key light situation without that little uh, cube light turned on and with the cube light on. And I'm actually running this through a diffuser as well because it's about one meter away from me here. And without the diffuser, the light is just far too pungent, too bright on the face. Might as well give you a look at that as well. Okay, so as you can see, putting out a ton of light. I'm gonna put this back in. So, there you go, nice little cube light. It puts out a very, very similar amount of light to one of the um, Aperture AL160s, I think they are. So that costs around about 
60 to 70 dollars it takes aa batteries this one takes nine volt batteries and we're probably looking at around about depending on what you pay for your batteries and your battery snaps you're probably looking at around about a 10 to 12 dollar project there so great value little cube light and very very handy indeed so as always thank you very much for joining me i hope you can join me again next time if you like the video give it a thumbs up that always helps feel free to subscribe and see you next time